from the Governor's Mansion to the Governor's Art Show. It's a fantastic opportunity to get to know and experience the work of 60 curated Colorado artists at the Loveland Museum. Well, with more, we have show director Ruth Scott here. Ruth, thank you for joining us. And of course, winning artist Sherry Fairbow as well. Good morning, ladies. Thank you guys for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, thank you for having us. of course, well, we have some amazing things to talk to you about today. The show is so exciting. Ruth, I want to start with you. What is the Governor's art show all about? Well, this is our 31st year, so that's quite an achievement for an art show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're a juried show. Okay. And because the show's in Loveland, some people have the misconception that it's just northern Colorado artists, but it's artists from all over the state. Wow. So, and some of the best artists you're going to see. Yeah. So, it, it's, it's a beautiful show. It's curated. Like I said, it is a juried show. Okay. We have five jurors uh, that we select that are very, very professional in the art community. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait for you to see it. You uh, really need to come and see this show. You won't see artwork any any better. Oh my goodness, well I can't wait. And even seeing some of the pieces we've just seen and the ones around us here are so incredible. I wanna talk to you about the selection process. What's that like for you guys? Well, it's different every year. We have, uh, like I said, we select five jurors. Mm -hmm. And every year they're different. Um, this year we had an associate curator from the Denver Art Museum, and then we had the Loveland uh, curator. Mm -hmm. We had two artists from out of state, and then we also had a patron who's been a very big supporter for a lot of years. Wow! So it's 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 different, you know, every year. Sure, but they know their stuff, which is so great. Yes. Yeah. So you guys call this to art with heart. You have to tell we us do. why. <laughs> Well, so this show is presented by the uh, Loveland and Hobson Valley Rotary Clubs, okay. and it takes us all year to put this show on. But one third of the proceeds from this show goes to actually keeping kids in school. Okay. So it goes to the Thompson Education Foundation. And, uh, you know, when they approached us, we thought this is something we can get behind because we know the importance of keeping kids in school. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just a must. Yeah. And so uh, it, we also present four art scholarships every year, and we help buy art supplies for, for the local students, wow. so, which is important because uh, when over the last few years, the art supplies has kind of dwindled, sure. and the art uh, teachers were going out and spending their own money buying art supplies. So, so that's another uh, something that we got behind to help support the the students in the schools. Yeah, so you guys are doing good along with it. That's incredible. Well, Sherry, I'm sorry, you're not off the hook. I have to ask you some questions. Too. <laughs> okay. So this morning I was looking at your piece, and of course this is Liquid Silver. It was named Best in Show. How does this kind of recognition feel to you? I mean, the piece is gorgeous. I was talking about it earlier. It's kind of this gorgeous piece of, look at this. Look at this amazing piece of art right here, you guys. <laughs> so beautiful. Tell us about this recognition. Well, it was a wonderful honor and thank you so much. Um, it's uh, my inspiration comes from uh, things that I see and and things um, you know places that I go but um, having a nice award like this is very affirming and just lets you know that you're doing doing the right thing I guess but um, yeah there's so much good art in the show it, it was really an honor to uh, get that award yeah well Sherry I mean we were talking about it before the show too I'm gonna have our, our cameraman in the back bring us to this photo check this out behind us too this is another one of Sherry's pieces it's so gorgeous water seems to be something that you love to gravitate toward too how long have you been painting um, I started painting and, and drawing when I was a kid, you know, grade school and high school, and I had some really inspiring teachers. But it wasn't until I was able to retire, and luckily I was able to retire a little bit early, yes. that I was able to find enough time to really devote to it. And uh, I, I paint six days a week, so wow. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah. Unbelievable. So I've been painting about 18 years wow. to answer that question. Well, how can we learn more about your work in particular? Um, I am represented by Mary Williams Fine Art in Boulder. Uh, a band gallery in Denver, and then I have a website, which is just myname.com, sherryfarabaugh.com. Okay, excellent, perfect. Thanks. Well, before we let you ladies go, Ruth, I want to come to you one last time. What do you enjoy most about the Governor's Art Show, and how can people learn more? 
Well, I think this year especially, people are so excited and it brings joy. So when I'm in, this, in the museum, mm -hmm. I hear all this, wow, look at this, oh my gosh. And, mm -hmm. and literally people are about to cry oh. because it brings such joy yes. to them and, and the beauty. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful show. Yes. It's, and, and also they get to meet artists every Saturday. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, it sounds like it's going to be so fantastic. Ladies, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. And guys, for more information, you can see and purchase fine art from 60 Colorado artists at the Governor's Art Show at the Loveland Museum now through Sunday, May 22nd. You can learn more by visiting this website, governorsartshow.org.